Welcome back to the Fuzzy Bunch. Oh, that's nice. You should write our next jingle. Tis true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. You wouldn't be able to sing he, it. That would happen. He hath spared us, but something is amiss. And I can't put my froggy chin on it. My froggy fingers, chin, or tongue on it. Yes. They take energy from Lavos. Lavos not get weak? Don't spout your cave age science at me, Isla. I don't know what you're talking about. Hast seen elsewhere the crest on the doors that the pendant opens. Correct? No. Uh, No. How would he know? Yeah, how would he know? Uh, What? What? Have you been following do, us? Do I time? normally have like genie in the party when this happens? Because every time I've played this, it's been genie saying that. Oh. A curious crest is engraved here. Some unknown power keeps it sealed. I've never seen that place. Oh, God. is that Melchior? No. No. Who is it? It's a. Uh, I don't like, that's know a guy? his name. It's just a guy. It's it's a guru though. Oh, okay. Whoops. Ah, uh, spoiler. Whatever. <laughs> this Gosh, time to it. depart. Hey, Stop cuts. It's a guru. Right, Kurtz? It's time for us to leave? Uh, the, yes. All right. Sorry. I was thinking about something else. <laughs> the better question is, when is Kurtz not thinking about something else, you know? I don't remember where... Oh. This is kind of weird, go. having, like, no sound effects for this while they're flying around. That is really creepy. Yeah, it's... it's something, uh, doesn't feel real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, whoa, 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 all right. I'm uh, oh, gonna yeah, take we, a nap. We're dying. I'm gonna go take a nap real fast. Can we get jumped on the overworld? Uh, no, thankfully. Oh, uh, okay. But these are just more fun to do. <laughs> I see. <laughs> you know, oh, when you when life hunt. gives you a a, a dactyl, <laughs> how to use it, right? I don't think life's ever given me a dactyl. <laughs> oh, well, you've never played this game that far. Yeah, that's right. This is the one time where life gave me a dactyl, and I I, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Fly, uh, I guess. I'd fly with it. Okay. And then I'd be like, hey, Dactyl, how you doing today? And then I'd be like, because <laughs> it's a Dactyl. It yeah, that, that's the answer I'm thinking of, too. <laughs> if you didn't say that, I was going to. Oh, watch out. I can't avoid this y- fight. You didn't watch out. <laughs> Good job, Kurtz. I see those ballet lessons have been paying <laughs> off quite well. <laughs> My mom made me do it in fifth grade. I'm sorry. So he's taking ballet. He's I- taking ballet, opera, and swordsman, <laughs> and, <laughs> and swordsman, sh- and slash swordsmanship. He's the classes. triple threat, man. He's taking slash style. Ooh, singing, singing <gasps> dancing, spire. and sword fighting. We finally learned spire. Great. What is spire? It's a, it's a Kurtz Arkin combo, which which is Kurtz uses lightning. Uh huh. And Arkin jumps up and stabs a sword in the guy, and lightning channels through the sword. That's cool. Yeah. It's not as funny as any of Isla's attacks with magic, but... <laughs> I mean, Isla's just a laugh riot, let's be honest. Yeah, Every, Isla's everywhere awesome. Everywhere you go, it's just, ha <laughs> oh, Isla. <laughs> oh, do we need to give her magic? Or does she just know it already? Uh, you want to see what happens? Sure. Hey, he's not a little sheeper anymore. Yep. He, he's a thing. Ah, that sweetheart. <laughs> Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed, but you seem to have other skills that will get you by. Uh, what are those? Uh, kissing. Uh huh. Kicking. Uh huh. Uh, cat attacking. Ooh, we got another triple threat on our hands. Um, and my personal favorite, throwing. <laughs> <laughs> throwing stuff. Yeah, she oh. picks up an enemy and yeah. throws them. Oh! Oh, do them like all the all the bad guys do. That's yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Cool. Uh, I can't wait to see that. I'll trade him for someone. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Who should it be though? Genie. I, Blaze Blaze Acorn, have been staring at this old man for several hours. Please, my brain is not at its best at the moment. Yeah. All right. Well, on my way then. She's probably smarter than everyone still. <laughs> it doesn't seem to help much. Thanks, Blaze, for your great theme song. You're welcome. I'm playing it off of my Walkman. <laughs> playing it off my Walkman. <laughs> I gotta switch them though, because I always have Isla in the party. Uh, oh, okay. Is this the proto? Isla is numbre uni. Uni. Uni-on? 
We have to go back to 2300 AD. Back to the future? Yeah, we have to go back to the future. We have to go through all of the stinking uh thing. We have to go through Oh no, we don't. We have to we have to go through some labs again though. Okay. Which is kind of annoying. Oh, we got to make our way back to that door, right? Yeah. Okay. Which involves a dungeon that we passed by because I always forget about it. For oh no. Well, is it like an optional dungeon? Oh, uh, when you first come here, that's why it? I always forget about it. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, it's right there. You see that little thing at the bottom left corner? Yes. That's that, the... that thing that looks exactly like all the other things. Yep. Great. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, there yeah, he is. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to walk across. Bye, Johnny. All right. Okay. Jesus Christ, there's dancing man things. things. I, I don't know. I think they only... Oh, no, they yeah, do have mutants, two legs. that's about right. Well, they have two legs, but I it looks they like they kind of combine into well, one at the end. Yeah, I thought they only had one. That's why I was like, what? Flame wow. world? Nope, all of the... All right, well, uh, let's just shut you up with lightning bolt. Yeah, that's how you solve all the problems, isn't it, Kurt? It's just run up and throw lightning at that's it. how you solve all the world's problems. When has lightning solved anything? When has lightning not solved anything? I answer my question first, and then I'll answer yours. Um, it solved the theory of electricity. Okay. Um, it solved the fact that how storms work. I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm just... I'm not as good at bullshitting Storms science Storms make facts. lightning. I can bullshit you a science fact. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, but then I can call you wrong. Re remember that one time that a guy got struck by lightning and then he got struck by it again? That sure didn't solve his problem of getting struck by lightning. Yes, it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> it was the problem. And here's the thing, Derek. You're either the problem or you're the solution. That's a lie. So when you're lightning and then you lightning somebody... That's that's not being good. I lost. What are we talking about again? Gosh darn it! I don't remember. Oh well. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, is there's no, you're either the problem or you're the solution. There's no neutral. Yeah. I don't agree with that. Nah, no. Nah, because there's, there's, sometimes you have nothing to do with the problem. Now nah, there's just different tiers of the of being associated with it. Yeah. You know? Uh, no, I don't know. Otherwise, right. I would have said that. You know, this is a saying that applies to things when you are a problem or a solution. It, obviously, if you are, um, you know, let's see, what's what's a good problem? If know. if shoes are too tight, but you don't wear shoes, obviously you're not part of either thing. But when when you are involved with something, then then that's what it is. If you're not involved with anything, then you're nothing. So why? It, obviously, you're not part of that. And yes, he teleported to the other side. No, he just raced. <laughs> he raced. You're so slow. Wait, he took the car though with him. Did well, he just take well, the it's, car? Well, it's his car. It's not his car though. It's a show. Yeah. Well, why does he it have it around car. all the time? It's Kurt's car. No, he let you drive it. Yeah, it was the old dude's car. You didn't build and then it. he gave it to you. Really? What? Yeah. We have to go back into the past so I can remember all this stuff. Yeah. Well, guard. The bandits must report to Sir Crowley. I was doing the ladder shimmy. <laughs> no one else is doing that dance, Isla. You're hearing music that isn't there. Ugh. Ah, crap. Stupid things. Derek, I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. I know. Really you don't doing. seem to really know what you're talking about half the time, though. Yeah, so. Well, this is more so than usual. Yeah, you, you're really at it. Normally, you can even come up with we're, something. You're not coming up with anything. It's so here. weird. We're sitting yeah, we're here. sitting here going through a damn sewer like we're Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or whatever is the not copywritten version. And we're... Shoe, shoe shocks. Shoe shocks? Shoe shocks. Oh, sorry. Street shocks, sorry. Street shocks. <laughs> that was not accurate. Street shocks, they fell under the street and they're in the sewer now. That's... That makes sense. Whoa, that, that was kind of cool because she didn't want to fall in the water, so... She, she just, just stayed stepped, on top and kicked him? on their heads, yeah. Was that a special move or is yeah, that just how things... Yeah, it was her things... tech kick. Oh. Okay, I was gonna just ask if that's how things work when there are people in the water and you can't touch them. There was a bridge here. I saw it, ribbit. The uh, fool. There's nothing here. There never was anything here. But, but it's true, ribbit. You are full of frog shit. Someone's a coming. Let's scram, ribbit. 
Christopher Walken impression. Could he possibly say that with any more enthusiasm? I think not. Is there a, nope. <laughs> no, there was a switch. <laughs> it looked like he shook his head at whatever you were trying what to do. What happened? Oh, it froze. This is an eerie place. I've got a bad feeling about this. Bad place. Much danger. That is exactly what I just said. Okay, good talk, friends. <laughs> Next time on the Fuzzy Punch. We save a kitty. And I'll get my mojo back, I promise. Maybe. I'll go drink some, uh, I'll, a cup of joe and then yeah. get its mojo. Next time. You know, mm. your Blaze Acorn sounds a lot like your Johnny Young botch. <laughs> to me it did.